Okay, so today we're going to do another example uh, working with blank contraction, just like we did before. So, oops. So this is just a series of a couple of questions. It's one question with different parts. And we're going to try to go through and work through it all. So it says an observer O is standing on a platform of length D naught equal to 65 meters on a space station. A rocket passes at a relative speed of 80% the speed of light, moving parallel to the edge of the platform. The observer O notes that the front and back of the rocket line up simultaneously with the end of the platform at a particular instant. Uh, and then they give us a figure, which I'll draw. According to O, what is the necessary time for the rocket to pass the particular point, a particular point on the platform? So... Let's start by drawing a platform. And then our rocket. I'm not very good at drawing a rocket, so bear with me. That's going to line up, at least in theory, I don't know, something like this. We'll pretend that lines up really well. And it's moving. Now this is from O's point of view. So it it sees this ship moving at 80% the speed of light. Okay. Now it mentions that the proper length, D naught, of this ship, or not the ship, of this deck, this green part that I'm highlighting, that's D naught is 65 meters. Oops. Now real quick, do we remember why that's the proper length? Well, we ask ourselves the proper length is where that object that we're measuring is at rest. And from O's point of view, the dock is at rest. So that is why we would consider that the proper length. Now, the first question wants us to find how long it takes to pass any point. Let's just say this point. So this is like our clock. Where it starts, and then it ends when the ship, this part of the ship, passes this purple dot. Well, that's not too hard. That's just delta T naught is equal to the length over uh, the speed. And the length of the ship measures up with the length of the dock, so that's 65 meters divided by the velocity. And if you plug that in your calculator, you'll get 0 0.27 microseconds. So this is how long it would take from O's point of view for the ship to pass the dock. Now, this is called the proper time. Now we do that because where we're starting is where it end is where it ends. So this clock is right here. And the part that we're measuring, which is the ship passing it, that starts and ends at the same place, which is right here. And we can also think of it that because that's our clock, it's stationary from O's, O's point of view. O's point of view. And in that case, that's what we consider to be the proper time. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. B, what is the rest length L naught of the rocket? Okay, so just so this picture makes more sense, O is looking at this rocket with the with uh, length contraction. So this picture that I drew, this is what O sees, but in reality, maybe the ship is um, maybe it's significantly bigger.
Maybe this is actually the size. I'll not. Maybe that's the rest length. Now we can find the rest length using our equation because we know, if we remember from the previous videos, L equals L naught, the square root of one minus U squared over C squared. So the rest length is this guy. So all we have to do is, is isolate that. So L naught equals L all divided by the square root of 1 minus u squared over c squared. And we have all these values. And again, L naught is the proper length. The proper length, uh, proper slash rest length of the ship. Now the way we determine whether something's the proper length or not is we think about the whatever it is we're measuring. In this case, we're measuring the length of the ship. And from whose point of view is the ship at rest? Well, O primes. Maybe O prime is inside the ship. I don't know. Maybe he's at the front. But the point is, from his point of view, the ship is at rest. Rest. So that's the proper length. Um, <clears throat> so if you plug these in, the numbers in, so this is 65 meters divided by the square root of 1 minus 0 0.80 squared, you get about 108 meters. So this is the actual length of the ship at rest. Now, we use the 65 because this is what O sees. That's basically the constructed length. Um, the, the, the squeeze down ship. That's the length of the ship squeezed down. In this particular question, we're not actually we're not actually asking, you know, how much is the ship the ship shrunk by? We already know that it's sixty five because that's what O measures originally. We're asking how much it is without it being shrunk. So hopefully that makes sense on why we would call L sixty five. Let's go on to part C. Let's see that was C. That's B. This is A, so A, B, C is what we're on. According to observer O prime on the rocket, what is the length D of the platform? According to, uh, I'm sorry, we're doing C. I was going on to D. What is the length of the platform? That's what it's asking. So maybe, maybe for him, the length is, he's going to see this platform some distance smaller. We'll call it D. So here's what I'll say. O prime sees a smaller dock and the dock seems to be moving uh, whatever, 80% of the speed of light. That's what the, that's what you would see from the perspective of the rocket ship. Remember from the rocket ship's point of view, it's seeing this stock move 0 0.80 C. Okay. So this is from O'Prize's point of view, and it's going to see the ship or not the ship, but the platform shrunk. Now the proper length, d naught, is the 65 meters. That's its rest length. That's what O measured. So this is what O measured. So we can again use our equation that we found. And then just plugging in the numbers. Oops. 
times the square root of 1 minus 8 0 squared uh, meter squared per second squared because we're squaring our units too. If you plug that in, you'll get about 39 meters. So this ship, this ship would see this dock as being only 39 meters compared to the 65 that is at rest. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let's move on to D. According to O prime, how long does it take for the observer O to pass the entire length of the rocket? Okay, so let's start by noting that O prime measures his ship or her ship is equal to 108 meters. That was our proper length. So from O's point of view, the proper length is the the uh, the size of the ship. Well, what we'll call delta T prime is equal to 108 meters divided by the speed, which if you plug this in, you get 0 0.45 microseconds. Now, the math is pretty straightforward, but I think we need to make a point that this is, and I'll do this in red, not the proper time. And let's go back to the first picture, because I think that'll help us see. From the first picture, we can see that, I'll do it in, so in purple, the start stop is right here at the same spot. It's at the left hand side of the dock. Now, if we were to put a clock on the ship, this might be the start. And maybe this is the stop at the very end. The problem with that, and the reason why that doesn't work, and I'm doing this in red, there are different locations. There are different points um, in O prime. So not proper time. Compared to here where we start and stop in the same spot. That's our clock. OK, next up is E. According to O, the end of the rocket uh, simultaneously lines up with the end platforms. Are these events simultaneous to O prime? Well, for O prime, let's think about O prime's perspective. The ship is equal to 108 meters, and the dock. The dock is 39 meters. So this alone shows us no, they don't align. They don't, they don't, it's an ugly don't. They don't align. So basically what we're seeing is we have this stupid ship that I suck at drawing, so I'm going to draw a very small. And this little dock that's 39 meters. This is what it sees, by the way. This is what O prime sees. Uh, this whole thing is 108 meters. Uh, and let me move this guy over a little bit. Oops. line it up like this at least try to line it up and then over here we have still 108 meters except now the ship or the dock is over here and it's still just 39 meters so this is what O prime 
sees. So O prime sees the dock move, because from its perspective it's moving. O prime sees the dock move, well, the ship is 108 meters, minus the 39 meters. That's 69 meters. Um, let me fix this a little bit. I didn't mean to line that up like that. It makes it a little... However far it goes. So it doesn't have to be lined up one way or the other is the point that I'm making. Um, at least why I redrew that. So delta T prime is going to be the 69 meters divided by the speed. And if you put that in, you get 0 0.29 microseconds. So from its perspective, that's how long it takes. <clears throat> so they don't necessarily see that it both lines up is, I think, the point of this question. So do they line up? Uh, no, they don't. So that kind of just shows it's really relative to the perspective. Hopefully that helps. Uh, we're going to move into a new topic next, but we, I feel, talk, talked about these subjects in good detail, and we'll still talk about them, but we're going to move on to a new part here soon.